Hello guys, welcome to my leaving vlog. <laughs> right now, my only emotion is stress because I am leaving to move to Australia in three days time and I still have the biggest freaking to-do list you've ever seen ever and it's stressing me slightly. It is stressing me. Currently, I'm running errands. I need to go to the bank. I need to go get my nails done and I know that that should not be top of the priority list but more than anything, I just need to get these nails taken off and I just need to pick up a few like little bits and bobs. Every single time I think I'm done with like picking things up, running errands, just something else crops up. My current issue which is incredibly unideal three days before you leave the country is i've lost my bank card isn't a massive issue because i have like three bank accounts and like three bank cards and i have the others but the one i use most of the time i've just lost it and i'm like i know it's not actually lost because it was in the house and i think it is in the house just can't find it amongst the chaos so i need to go and get some money but i don't have my bank card so i want to speak to the people in the bank anyway i'm gonna have to somehow do that without my actual card uh, so that's all good. It's just chaos. It's just stress. But this is going to be my leaving vlog. This is my final weekend with my family. It's actually my brother's 20th birthday, the day that we fly. And we're kind of celebrating that this weekend as well. It's not just going to be sad. It's not just going to be goodbyes. It's also going to be celebrations and family dinners and yeah, fun stuff. I'm collecting Harry from the train station. He's coming home from uni pretty soon. I'm not too sure exactly when yet, but that's on my agenda as well. So there's a lot going on, basically. I've also spent the morning packing and it's just stressing me out, guys. I was gonna say that behind me, I'm mid-practice pack, but it is not a practice pack, it's the real pack. Just got home, I got my nails done, just like this really neutral shade of pink, in the hope that I'm gonna be tanned by the time I get my nails off, so they'll be less like nude coloured. I don't really know if that makes sense. I just didn't want anything really like, not as obvious when they start growing out, because I'm probably gonna have these on for like five weeks. And that is a lot less obvious than if you have like black, blue, a colour that's like rah, really in your face. I do just think they're very pretty, very girly. Now I need to crack on with some editing and then my brother should be home, which is both exciting and sad at the same time. It's been a little while. I am pretty much done with my to-do list for the day. Like, to be honest, that's a lie. <laughs> the to-do list is just going into tomorrow. It's too long to be done today, but I'm about to start getting ready because I'm actually going for dinner this evening with Tom's whole friendship group and like all of their girlfriends. And I always say this, I always say it's like Tom's friendship group because that's how I I know them through Tom but obviously by this point five years into the relationship they are also my friends as well so I really should just say our friends but uh, yeah that's like how I know them so we're going for dinner in Hull we're gonna have a couple of drinks it's kind of like our last send-off our last goodbye obviously last weekend I saw my friends tonight I'm seeing Tom's friends our friends however before I get ready I told you earlier that I was going to collect Harry from the train station totally forgetting that Harry has his car and leads with him and that he was actually driving home I wasn't going to get Harry from the station I just made that up but he has actually just arrived I'm pretty sure I've been up here squirreling away but I'm pretty sure Harry hello Hello. Here he is, here he is. Here I am. You don't like sitting on the floor, do you? No, I'm old now. This is going to be our last weekend together in quite a long time, which is really weird. Yeah. Probably the longest time we've ever been apart. Apart from when you were alive and I wasn't. Apart from the time I was alive when Harry wasn't born yeah. yet. I cannot believe, and I was saying this to Tom earlier, I can't believe that you're going to be 20 this weekend. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Teenage years over. Teenage years over, that's it now. I know. That's I'm it. I'm old. You that's are. why it hurt to get on the floor. I'm old. <laughs> How's uni going? This is going to be a little tiny uni update, the last one that you're going to see from Harry until he is about to graduate. Oh my, no. Maybe, well, maybe. Like, probably, because even if I'm away only for a year, by the time I come back next Christmas, you're going to be doing your final exam. Final year. Wow. That's, that's so that's bizarre. Scary. No, it's going good. Uh, we're on a reading week at the moment, but um, there's still been stuff to do in uni. Right. So we, I've still been in Leeds. I have. Just came back today. It's it's going well. I've got exams coming up in before and after Christmas. Before and after. Oh, that's well, I've got a few assignments that are like coursework due in before Christmas. Studying for them, really? Well, I should be studying for them, let's say. <laughs> what you're actually doing right now is saying goodbye to me and celebrating your birthday. But um, you're allowed a few days off. Yeah, yeah of course. A few yeah. days, few weeks, few months. All the same, really. <laughs> because it's reading week as well, we've sorted our house out because it's a good time to do it. So we've sorted out where we'll be living next year. That's exciting. Yeah. You're such a little adult. I know, I know, having to do all the adulty things. Which brings me on to the sponsor of this vlog, which I'm so, so grateful for. One second, let me just pop this on. We love to wrap the brand. <laughs> I also love this colour. 
It's very blue. It's very blue. This section of the vlog is really kindly sponsored by Yumi Homes. You guys know if you've watched for a while, I have worked with them on and off for a while. And I know so many of you watching are students yourselves at university, maybe going into second year, into third year, and you're gonna be looking for somewhere to live. And I know from experience, but also from what you've said, from my friends that went to uni, that that can be a really stressful time of the year. Uni Homes basically just wanna make that as easy for you as possible. So the Uni Homes website is super easy to use. Basically, it's comparing thousands of properties nationwide all in one place So you're not having to like shop around search on different websites and the bills are all included in the rent prices So the price you see is the price you get which at the moment very important is very important Which as you can see when you're looking on their website just makes the whole process so much easier because it means that there's no Nasty surprises and what you view is exactly what you get without the extra stress of worrying about what the cost will be plus utility bills You don't even need to think about that because it is all in one place which is just so good especially like i say at the moment when you don't want to be kind of blindsided by any extra additional costs at a later date plus obviously they're aware that everybody living there is a student so each person is paying directly from their own account there's no like transferring between housemates there's no like sorting out one person to pay the bill each month it is literally your rent your account and you're like sorting out yourself which i think is really ideal take it from me you want it to be as stress-free as possible. I just think on top of everything else you've got to worry about while you're at uni, everything else that you've got going on in your life, you want as many experiences to be made easier as possible. Uni Homes website is one of the best websites to be comparing houses, comparing places to live. Like I say, they have it all on one site and it is so straightforward to use. It will actually be the top link in the description box. A huge, huge thank you again to Uni Homes for sponsoring this vlog. I really do appreciate it. And if you are a student watching this yourself, I really recommend checking it out. I might just keep the study on. Well, I don't really go with the red below it. It doesn't really go with the red, but if we take the red away, I love this colour. But it is a very, very vibrant blue. Very vibrant blue. I've got to go drive it to the train station. <laughs> I'm about to ask Harry for a lift. Even though I've just been driving for like two hours, but it's all good. Well, since when was Leeds two hours away? It's not Leeds. It was rush hour traffic. It was stressful. It was stressful. Driving in Leeds is stressful, but I do appreciate it. Please, pretty please, may you give me a lift to go out tonight? Go on then. Now. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning now. I didn't film anything last night. I don't think I've ever vlogged around Tom's friends, so that was kind of why. Also just because we were, as you can imagine, just sat eating. I will insert some photos though. The pizzas were insane, we went to Bert's. But now it is Saturday morning and we're continuing the goodbyes. Here is Harry. We are actually going to see my grandma. So this will be like the final time that I get to see him. Also, we are bringing Tom as well, but obviously picking him up. And then, yeah, I think after this, this is gonna be my last goodbye until I say goodbye to you guys. I mean, you to your Wally. I don't care. <laughs> Hello guys, it has been a little while, quite a long time actually. I'm now ready to go out for dinner. I'm with my mum. Hi. <laughs> who looks lovely by the way. Oh, thank you. A lot smaller than me, but that's okay. Nothing's different. You should just always sit like further forward when I'm filming you. Well, I'm sat further back, so that's not helping. It's not helping. But uh, I wanted to answer a question that, I, that I've been getting loads since I announced that I was going to Australia. Obviously I announced this like, a week before I flew, so I got a lot of the same question, which until now I haven't answered. So a lot of people have been asking how you feel about it, and I thought, why not just get it in the vlog? Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm very sad, very, very sad, and I do keep crying. She does keep crying. But I'm kind of brave. <laughs> you do cry about most things. You're not going to cry now, are you? I've cried at everything this weekend. I cried when the women's rugby union lost this morning. Don't even watch rugby union. <laughs> I cried when we got knocked out of the rugby league cup this afternoon. Do we, we do even follow rugby? I'm I just cried at everything. Mum was like, I'm crying at the women's world cup. I was like, why? I think she's just a, a mess. A bit emotional. No, don't cry now because you're all dressed up. We're going to go out. We're going out for dinner I'm first. Try not to spoil the weekend because you, look, you made me. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to spoil it because it's Harry's birthday weekend as well, which is really bad timing. It's but, awful timing on yeah. my behalf. I, I didn't intend to fly on Harry's birthday. That was not the plan. Like the plan was always to try and leave on the 15th or the 16th, but we're joining a tour that starts on the 17th. And just because of how far away it is, it was just impossible to fly any other day other than earlier, which obviously would not have been ideal either. Well, he's in uni on his actual birthday anyway, so it's all fine. He is, he's yeah. here for the weekend and we just have to make the most of having a really nice weekend. Yeah. And then my my problem now is the waiting. Yeah, I agree with that. Once you're there, 
and you you're getting on with things i'll be fine as long as i know you are yeah because who wouldn't want to be doing this who wouldn't want to be experiencing all this exactly and, and i know that i can well i will speak to you every day because i yeah. did every day you was in asia and yeah of course in australia last time so FaceTime's a brilliant thing. It is. If we'd have been doing this when I was your age, that would have been it. Do you know what? I actually found that wild that people that went travelling in like the 80s and the 90s just got on a plane to go by and just didn't hear yeah. from them again. Like, that's crazy. Whereas I know I get at least loads of texts every day. Yeah. And FaceTime. Photos. Yeah. I love to oh, send a photo. So I can live it with you. So that part of it. I'm fine with. Yeah. It's just the same goodbye. It is the it is the goodbye. But I do know that once you once you're over that and once we've gone, I know that Mum will be okay because you were when I was in Asia. Yeah. Like obviously you really missed me and obviously I miss home. But I think because you do get used to it, you adapt to that lifestyle and that routine and it just becomes normal. But I will miss you incredibly because I'm always with you. Yeah, we do do like everything together. Mum yeah. works with me like yeah. all all day, most yeah, not days. Not sure what I'm gonna do there. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just send you work to do. That's fine. Yeah. And obviously, Dad's here most of the time. Dad, Dad works from home. The dog obviously works from home. <laughs> works from home. <laughs> That's what I thought he was gonna say. No. Harry will be home for Christmas. Here she is. Speak of the devil. Hello. Sad because she knows we're going out. Yeah, we are. We're about to go out for dinner for Harry's birthday. So. But in answer to your question, how do we feel? Obviously, lots of different feelings. Excited, happy, e yeah. nervous, sad. Yeah, feel quite sick. <laughs> yeah, I feel all of those things too. Yeah, I, know. I hate, I hate saying yeah. goodbye. Even when I'm desperate to leave, even when I'm desperate to go on the trip, I still hate saying goodbye at airport departures. Like, even when my dad dropped me off at East Midlands Airport to go away for a week in the summer. I was like, don't say goodbye to me because it just makes me feel sad, like I hate goodbyes. Yeah, I can't go to the airport. Mum will not I be. I, I, I come to the airport to collect you, quite happily. No. I don't come to say Mum goodbye. Mum would be making it. a scene at airport departures. But I, it's just too hard for me. I'd rather just be here on my own for a little bit. And, and also the dog. Yeah. It's not that I'm being mean, I just can't do it. Yeah, no, I know you're not being mean. Anyway, we are going to go out for dinner now, so you need to stop getting teary. You need to have a wine. Or maybe like five. Oh, well, I think like a whinge. <laughs> no, a glass Come of on. a glass of wine. Also, um, I'll be really busy when you've left because what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little film of what you leave behind <laughs> so that you can put it in your vlog. <laughs> what the mess that I've left? <laughs> no, you don't. You don't do that. that. I am, yeah. <laughs> Just look for it. I might. Hey, maybe I'll leave it really tidy. Anyway, we're going for dinner now. Bye. It's a strange angle. <laughs> my arm's aching. <laughs> actually, I'm not sure that's my most flattering angle. This isn't. Actually, you're, you look good from this angle. I look, I look good from any angle. Yes, you do. I cry I? at the airport. <laughs> I cry at the airport when I see that. How much they charge me for parking for 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Do you have a more, um, what approach is your? A matter of fact. Yeah. Dad. I'm no, I've, I've seen Dad with tears in his eyes when he's dropped me off before. Aww. Yeah, when I say how much it costs to park there. That's mm -hmm. not why. It would be no good if Dad was, if we were both the same. No, one of you has to be. Somebody would. Dad, Dad is Mr. Airport Duty, that is. I couldn't get you there anyway. No, you know, that's that true. You, no, no chance. <laughs> anyway, we really are going out for food now, so I'm going to film that. We're going to go out for Harry's birthday, and we're going to have some drinks, and we're going to have some really good food. We're going to Sleepers in Beverly, which does good food, doesn't it? Yeah. Are you going to get a garlic bread? Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've gone for a mushroom stroganoff, so it's my mum. What have you gone for? A chicken and barbecue burger. Chicken and barbecue cheese bacon. melt or something? Oh, some yeah, bacon. Chicken and bacon. Beef stroganoff. Prosecco. Dad. <laughs> With no food yet. Today is the 13th of November. It is my last full day here in the UK for however long. Like, not really wrapping my head around it. It feels a little bit overwhelming today um, because obviously, like, this is literally the last 24 hours now. I've got to get everything sorted. And it does feel a bit daunting. However, we are taking today as Harry's birthday and we're spending the day celebrating that. Harry's actual birthday is tomorrow, but it is a Monday and he is gonna be at uni. Even if I wasn't leaving tomorrow, Harry would be at uni tomorrow. So we're having his birthday today. Um, so we're gonna do presents. We're also kind of doing Christmas today. We're gonna have a Christmas dinner. So it's like 
the final stretch now you know and it does feel kind of weird also i do sort of want to clear up because i'm getting this question a lot as well like i'm kind of using this vlog to answer a few more questions that i've been getting um basically we're going to australia for a year probably we have the option to extend that but at the moment we're looking at a year because that's how long the visa is and kind of that's where i'm at mentally in my head i'm like okay taking this year out not going to be in the uk not going to be at home for this year this time next year, potentially probably be back for Christmas. But like I say, we just don't know and we, we have the option to extend the visa. We have the option to leave earlier, to go to other countries. We do want to make sure we visit New Zealand as well. So we're gonna be fitting that in either after the year in Australia or like towards the end of the year in Australia. So yeah, lots of things up in the air still, but that is a question I'm getting a lot. Like, are you permanently moving there? No, definitely will be back to the UK. It's just more of a question of like, when? Will it be a year? Will it be two? Will it be less than that? Like, we don't know. The answer and I'm getting it a lot so anybody else that's traveled into Australia on a working holiday visa probably kind of knows what I mean like it's a year to start with it's kind of how it is anyway it's like mid-morning I'm gonna go pick up Tom and we're gonna give Harry his birthday present hello hello how are you tired me too how are you feeling 24 hours pre-departure this is what this is a countdown vlog kind of yeah it did kind of hit home a little bit last night that would it was like soon <laughs> 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 that it was like soon. Yeah. Eh? Feels real though. Yeah, but I'm still excited. Not nervous. Not nervous, I'm just sad. I just hate saying goodbye. Oh, you wet lettuce, you'll be fine. Anyway, let's go give Harry some presents. We haven't got him out. Out. Right, Thomas uh, Tom has adopted Hull slang three days before we leave. No, I haven't. Actually, that's not even Hull, is it? That's just Yorkshire. I've always used out. You have never yes, said have. that. You have not. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Anyway, we're going to give Harry some presents because we have actually got him some stuff. Also, what I can't get over is how pale I am. I look ill and I'm not. Well, I'm tired and run down, but I look like unwell. You do a little bit. Mm. I need to see the sun. Okay, yeah. That's really cool. That's cool. The fall is coming. Happy birthday! No one has these shoes in the world. I've really? Never person, yeah. I've never seen a single Air Force on a single no, other person. Neither. Hey though, these are a bit different. Yeah, they've got these gold on them. These have got gold on them. Yeah, quirky, Thank unique, you. individual. <laughs> <laughs> They're a baby and a gigantic slipper socks for you to walk around your flat in because it stops you from getting sticky feet. Oh. <laughs> the floor at the uh, no, they'll just try to get stuff stuck to them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're amazing. Well, oh my god, have you made a riddle? The week, yeah. I'm so, there's so many stuff going on here. I'm at Lord's, but I'm also at F1 car and there's Back to the Future right here. Back in time exhibition. The musical! Yeah. 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 Nah. Nah. <laughs> Go on, pull it. <laughs> hey. Oh, Lottie, it's on his foot. There'll be a hole in it. Happy birthday to ya for tomorrow. Happy birthday. Harry is uh, wearing my... Yeah, I've robbed it. She's not taking it, so I'm robbing it. Harry's just gone through my wardrobe and taken that and one of my fleeces. This is my Minnesota Vikings NFL jersey. I do think it fits me better, though. It does fit. Well, it is men's, yeah. but it is nice. And also, Harry is correct. We are having Christmas dinner. Did you show them the shoes you got me? Uh, did I? Yeah, when you were unboxing them. Fresh crepes. They're marginally... Yeah, like they make me like a foot taller. You are tall with them on, actually. They're marginally better than the Baby Yodas. A little bit, yeah. I am very excited about this, guys. We've even got crackers. Christmas crackers. And your veggie gravy. And my veggie gravy. And a few Christmas decorations. This is obviously because, guys, I'm not going to be here for Christmas. So we have tied Christmas dinner in with Harry's birthday. Which, to be fair, I think is pretty, pretty good. I would take a rough dinner as a birthday meal any oh, day of the week. <laughs> this one is a big TikTok made me buy it. So if I throw it this way again, it comes back to me. Like a boomerang. It's time for a Colin. No. Cuthbert. Cuthbert. Oh my god. Wait, Cuthbert came back? Cuthbert never left. Yeah. yeah. No, Cuthbert had to be taken off the shelves for a bit, didn't he? Wait, what shop's Cuthbert? I'll do. You should know. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
time for a bougie rosé. This is the best rosé ever, guys. It's a little bit more expensive. It's definitely a treat. Treat wine, but it's worth it in my opinion. If you like rosé, if you're a fan, this is literally so, so good. The last time Tom's gonna see Harry because Harry's going back to uni in the morning. Yes, I am. So au revoir. Look at them matching in their purple. Bye. Bye. That's no, I'll come in. Come <laughs> Guys, it is now the next morning. It is the morning that we are leaving. Well, we're not actually leaving until mid-afternoon, but Harry is going back to university. This morning is also actually his birthday today. Um, so I need to say goodbye to Harry kind of before anybody, well, kind of before like my parents. That time has arrived. I'm really sad. Hello. He's wearing my fleece. Stolen for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. It's to remember me. Does it smell of me? It does smell good. It's been washed, it's clean, so I don't keep those. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mom, stop it. You got your flying ball. Oh. <laughs> Reversed. Psych, I'm on good. <laughs> Don't forget your elf on the shelf. Lottie. Bye bye. Bye bye. It is now about time for me to leave. So I'm gonna end this vlog because I want the actual goodbyes and like the departure to be in my traveling vlog. Thank you so much for watching this one. Thank you to Uni Homes for sponsoring it. I hope you enjoyed watching my last few days here in the UK for a while. <laughs> It feels so weird to be saying all of this. Honestly, it really, really does. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next one, which shall be my travelling to Australia vlog. 